Good morning world, it's your boy Pritesh. Uh, so today we are going to look into um, weekly activities. So uh, weekly activity is this guy right here, needs to clean up all of this, uh, this guy right here, this guy right here has to clean up this mess that we have here. Essentially get rid of it and put it in the garage. We are in the garage and uh, I also need to do some preventative maintenance. Thank God. I dreamt that um, one of these beams fell yesterday because I see a crack in it and I was scared that uh, it was gonna fall. I'm gonna show you what it is. And uh, I kept thinking last night that how the hell am I gonna save this thing? So, one of the other activities for this weekend Otherwise today is, as you can see right here, we have a crack in that beam. Now um, I have to get one of those metal things to kind of reinforce that. But in the interim, I need to ensure that there's enough support so it doesn't fall over. So, um, so that way I do not have any nightmares at night. I need to do that, ooh, boogeyman. All right, so <laughs> that's what I need to do right there. Now um, I do need some uh, pieces of lumber to kind of Prop up here, essentially I'm making um, a support structure, like that, support structure. Now, um, I may not have lumber that tall, you can see I have some pieces of wood right there, but um, I do have some bricks that I'll be using to kind of prop it up. You gotta start thinking outside the box. Uh, besides that, uh, it's nice and cool right now before it gets too hot. I need to start clearing the weeds back there. Now, uh, that is where I intend to start planting some stuff for next year but um, we have quite a bit of overgrown stuff um, I was letting things grow so we could try to see um, what comes out of it if it makes sense as in uh, is it a nice flower or is it weed so is it some sort of fruit and um, it seems like about 90% is all weeds so I'm not too sure what happened uh, there previously but uh, we're gonna have to clean that up here's the tractor no much going on with the tractor today. It all seems to be labor work, which I've been shying away from. But guess what? Um, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so um, I shall take videos as things progress. This is number one for me. Number two, we'll be getting the stuff out from the front of the shed there, and then start clearing out the weeds. Um, weeds is last, cause I'm expecting not to do that today, cause it is gonna get hot, and I don't wanna get stuck in the hot heat out here. Stay tuned. All right, so you guys gonna watch me do this. I think I have a clear shot of the area that I'm working on. I do have some beams here, so let's see what we can do here. So um, feel free to fast forward, but this is what I'm doing right now.
show. So that did not work too well. So the train of thought is the last use actually brick because the wood is really unstable. And then uh, based on that, maybe we can shim the pieces of wood underneath it. Let's see how it goes. Take two.
This might turn out into a blooper video. But hey man, I gotta do what I gotta do. Strong. Ain't that strong? So I need to uh, shimmy this thing some more. I'm running out of stuff to put underneath it. Um, you can see that it has a V groove. V groove. And you can see it right there. So uh, maybe I should push it up some more. But uh, that definitely don't look stable to me. I need to get it a little bit higher. Now I've seen some bricks in the field, but uh, it's now amongst a lot of overgrown weeds. So good luck finding that stuff. And I don't want to go out in the weeds. It's too early. I don't get Lyme disease. You know what I'm saying? Or I get sick. Uh, so safety first, Lyme disease, ticks. You gotta have your socks or your trousers back like African style. I used to put my money in there. You know, I once did that with, I think it was like 500 shillings. I lost the damn money, man. Anyhow, um, still trying to make the money. All right, so uh, let me just figure this thing out.
going? Where are you going? Just do it right there. The problem is, being a one man team, I need to get this shit off. I'm actually going to do a lumberjack competition. I'm going to shift. I can imagine myself hugging a piece of wood like this. Piece of wood, a man hugging it. Come on now. What are you doing today? I, I didn't wake up thinking I'd be hugging a piece of wood. Let's put it that way. Ain't that some? I'm gonna make sure that this shit is getting recorded. It is recording. Yay. Look at that. My jokes are not going in rain today. All right, people, wait. Okay, ladies and gents, I think I'm done with this job. This is a temporary brace, so in case anybody starts yelling at me saying, what the hell are you thinking? You lost your mind? Yeah, you know, I lost my mind. But um, it is for me to at least not get myself into a situation where I need some extra help with uh, getting stuff together. Now, I'll show you closer up what we did here. Yeah, doesn't look pretty. But uh, we are trying to hold this guy up here, you see it's cracked really bad. I need to get one of them metal um, things that you see up there. So probably go to Home Depot Lowe's. Problem is uh, with the family in the car, they get bored going to Home Depot Lowe's. I think, Daddy, why are you going to Home Depot Lowe's? You don't buy anything. You just keep price shopping, think it's going to be cheaper somewhere else. Hey, man, that's the unfortunate truth for being brown. <laughs> we got to make sure we're getting a deal with everything we do. Well, I might have to bite the bullet on this one. Anyhow, um, all right, I think this is done. We're gonna open up. Uh, yeah, this is some of the trash I have to get rid of. In time, uh, some of that stuff has to go in recycling, but we have a limit on our recycling, so that's just being held off over here. Open up that garage door, shed door, and then we shall start getting rid of the stuff from the front because my wife is like you gotta take care of the property you can't be leaving stuff around it's gonna look like a junkie lives in here i guess i'm turning into a junkie so this is what we got a uh, piece of wood cement board uh, some of this stuff right there uh, this stuff i want to leave this is my firewood pile i have to start getting into uh, cutting down wood as well start piling up over there so that's your boy get himself busy um, I do have to make a video about why I bought this property got a fresh haircut Woo. maybe now might be a good time for me to do a similar video I was hoping to get dressed for it anyhow um, we shall get there when we do all right so on to the next project cleaning up this stuff
let me figure out where I'm going to put the camera. Um, how about right here? All right, other glove is up here. Let's start moving this shit. Oh, by the way, what does somebody do when they have too much recycling they have to put out and stuff? Guess what? This is what I use. I drag this thing all the way from my shed with my with my uh, recycle boxes all the way to the street. Now that's to thanks to one of our Filipino friends, Lin Mo. You're the best. Well, that's uh, something she and I bought together, or maybe she bought for us. But yeah, that's how I remember things. Okay. Here we go. My butterfly seats. Now, uh, if anybody lives on this part of Ontario. I got free stuff for you to uh, take. We got a fridge, we got some shelving, a cupboard there, an armoire, whatever you call it. Come take it, it's all yours. Look at that, I'm trying to do stuff for my YouTube people, followers. Okay, back to the madness. I get sidetracked really quick. Maybe that's why stuff gets done slowly. Very slow and steady wins the race, as they say. I wish I was a bit taller. I wish I had a bunny in my hat. So I'm taller. Okay, I 
on some of these things here. I don't know what uh, we would do with something like this. Made in Chino, China. So I guess uh, some sort of watch. Um, I see no value, something like that. Another piece of thing I see no value in, this guy. So uh, done. Let's take a look, let's show you guys. So this part clean, we're gonna leave that stuff. Weed. I'm uh, collecting weeds so I can burn them. Sons of bee is uh, clean up this area. This is my fire pit type of deal. Alright, so uh, this has been cleaned up. That I might just get rid of the backpack there. Zip was broken, too costly to repair. 35 bucks to put a zipper. That's when I used to want to rack cleaners. I know the price. Um, now we will go through the next phase, which is when it starts getting hot. I threw this thing out here. Let's get it ready for the fire hip. I know people will be like, oh, so pretty, so pretty. Man, so pretty. I try not to swear. Um, all right, so that's done. I uh, need to show you the next part of the job that I have, which is very well where my phone is gonna start dying. Oh, my camera's gonna die, not the phone. <sighs> mini jungle. Who's ready for the mini jungle? Now I'm mulching. So that's why we have all the grass here. But this is my mini jungle. Um, lots of weeds. See some things that may look really nice. See some flowers there. But I've given it uh, a chance. Look at that monarch butterfly. Ooh. Look at that. Unfortunately, the monarch is on a weed. I mean, that's a beautiful thing. Now, uh, how many people's channel gives you this level of detail? Look at that. Look at that. And there goes a butterfly just getting onto the pollen. And this, folks, is a North American monarch butterfly. Fly, little butterfly, fly. All right. So that was my commentary on the butterfly. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, unfortunately, these are weeds to me. If uh, anybody is able to rescue them, please feel free to come over and rescue me. But uh, guess what? The hose coming out. <laughs> I said it. The hose coming out. And let's start hoeing this thing. Look at that weed. I'm scared of that weed. Because it's got its prickly bits. That one. Yeah, I'll show you. Look at that. And this is a scary sight. You got all these prickly things. And then a beautiful flower there. What are you going to do with this? Yeah. People say your boy is gone mad. Maybe Poquito. But it is what it is. This is how I keep myself fit and myself engaged. I get things moving. All right, so uh, time to get my hoe. Love saying that. Get my hoe. Now um, I'm using what is given to me. So here's my hoe. Not uh, in the best of shapes. It's old and raggedy. Old and raggedy. <laughs> and uh, 
I'm going to use my old and raggedy hoe to get the job done. You can't be choosy, eh? <laughs> Alright. So, um, let's park the camera somewhere and start hoeing. Our uh, phone's probably going to die somewhere here. But we shall pick it up wherever we can. I think I found a spot. Okay, let's get started with what we're doing today. This is the bigger job. That's probably going to take me maybe two, three weekends. Um, I'm going to share with you what I'm going to save. But here we go. Now, fun fact, in Kenya, a hole is called a djembe. Now, uh, take two. So I was saying the fun fact is, in Kenya, a hole is called a djembe. Now, uh, which other? Uh -huh. Which other channels out there will give me such fun facts? Now, buddy, park yourself in there. There's one of the pockets out there. Okay, park yourself here. There's one of the pockets out there. I'm gonna have to get a tripod. Boy, this is turning into an expensive venture. I was expecting to buy a tripod. But uh, my wife is going to be like, what's the tripod doing for you? How's it making money? Sorry, honey. It is to build a base. To build a base. Okay, let's go. Now, uh, people will say, why don't you go nuts with your trimmer? Um, I do not want to go nuts with my trimmer because the trimmer just cuts the weed. I'm trying to actually dig these things guys out. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then maybe just mulch this area up with all the grass that I have laying around. So that's the method to the madness. Anybody else got things to add? You let me know you got any negative things to say to me you know what why don't you show up in person yeah
Okay. I cannot get to this part because we have a lot of this wood right here. But uh, the five minutes that we spent, we cleared up this area here. But uh, this again is first time getting into this spot and uh, just seeing what I have. I can't get to this weed until I clear this wood stuff out. There you guys. So uh, yeah, lots of work. Was I anticipating this stuff? No. We get it done. Listen, here's another view. Fun fact, I used to weigh about 185, 80 pounds. Yeah, I'm looking good now. The ass is shrinking, the belly going. We just had to do some push-ups to get the packs in. What do you guys think? Now, why do I tuck in my shirt and wear a belt? Well, I'm not trying to look pretty for you guys. But uh, it is because we have mosquitoes too. So I gotta make sure the mosquitoes do not get up in there in my business. And that's why. Talk about uh, a workout. I don't know what workout would do that for you. I, I've gone to the gym. Now you see some belly there. That's called belly fat. <laughs> uh -huh. It's important for people like myself to have some of that to help with the lubrication of shit, you know? When it starts getting cold, you need some of that fat. So it's called fat reserves. Maybe I lose my fat reserves. But hey, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. So let's keep moving with this. Now my kids got two girls. They are almost eight and almost five. They scared to come outdoors because of the mosquitoes we have had. And middle of the night you do hear coyotes, not that often. Maybe once or twice a month. So uh, I do like to scare them. So maybe you might be in for a treat if everything lines up. Might have to get rid of the hatch because that might give me away. Let's keep going at it.
it's an old hole, but hey, hoeing is that, isn't that easy? <laughs>